what is up guys i'm back with another video today and today i'm going to be showing you how you could get your mortis to 500 and even 600 trophies super easily on this map bounty map called hideout and mortis super good on this map because you see throwers everywhere especially because those sectioned off walls in the middle allow for throwers to thrive and mortis is a natural counter to that some gameplay here I'll show you and just commentate what I do. I'll just put it on automatic. So, this comp is actually really good at Poco, BB, and Mortis. Uh, you want to go for the first star as the Mortis. You want to dash as many times as you can. You, just, uh, you dash right off the start and should take you to get there and get out. So, since they have no thrower, all you want to do is just camp in that one spot. And they can't get close to you with that. Because they can shoot over the wall, so they can't do anything. But they they do have a gene, and... Well, honestly, all of them are wall breakers for the enemy comp. So you're going to be have to be a bit more careful. You're going to be have to go aggro in some cases. As we are doing right now. Because the gene pull is just going to break the walls. Gene misses there. Sorry about the 20%. Mateus is supposed to clean up, though. And Corey is going to get his heal soon. I just clean up or Corey gets to kill him Brock. We're up 9 now. As a Mortis, all you want to do is wait for enemies to come close. You want to dodge their attacks and just go in and get your three dashes in. And just try to get your super at the start. And try to push in when your Poco has heal. If you're going to run the comp. Obviously the long range rollers are good too, but Poco... BB BB's insane right now and you can just see how she just basically destroyed two people getting Brock supered and getting pulled by Jean. The Poco and BB synergy is insane, same with the Mortis. And honestly, I'm just gonna clean up the kills here, get my bats, and I should be close to another one, but I think I'm gonna die here, gonna get pitched by I got my bats again, but my super didn't go off, so I died there unfortunately. We're up. We're up 13 starts right now, 18 to 5, it's looking really good, 15 seconds for us. I have my bats, I'm just going to go in aggro. Uh, if I get, I got my bats up, I think I'm going to die there, yep. It doesn't matter if Teos dies, because we have plenty of starts, and yeah. That's going to be GG, an easy win. And we even face some pros, I think I have some gameplay facing pretty good players, and yeah, I'll show you. How strong this comp is and how strong these brawlers are on this map. We have a Leon, which is a counter to Mortis if you just go sneak in. So basically, once again, you just want to die for that star and go in that one box. Right now, uh, Leon is getting a lot of shots on us, but Poco's star power is able to keep Mateus alive. Once again, Poco's star power does 500 heal every hit towards a teammate. Leon is sneak. Mateus is super weak right now. He's got to heal up. Leon's yeah, gonna see that he goes right. Mateus goes down, but we still love one star. I'm gonna down go down here. As I got poisoned by the crow, we're down one, but we have a poker heal. No worries. I just try to go up on the crow. He's the weakest out of the three brawlers there. And once again, they don't have a thrower. Crow's gonna jump in, just get annihilated there. That's why you don't want to go in that close to these brawlers. Mateus is gonna get the Leon. And yeah, honestly, we're up quite a lot now, and Mateus almost got the kill on Bo with the ball, but couldn't finish it off. I get healed, Mateus gets the kill behind the wall, basically, for that crow, which is huge. Corey's gonna go down here, I think. I should have gone for that kill, but I didn't, just to fall back, I'm only up 6 stars. I go for the kill on Bo, because I saw it was weak, which is what you usually want to do, but just don't do what I did. And die doing of trying to do that we we're up four stars i could go a bit aggro but mateus cannot die i go in for the leon i have my bat so i kill him we're up eight stars now and yeah we just basically wait out the time and prevent mateus from dying once you have the team with a lot of stars and you have a gap you can just go in aggro as mortis and just try to get your bats and just cycle them it doesn't matter if we die with two stars because you're just going to be killing them. That's your point at the end of the game just to waste time and be a distraction essentially. 
Okay, so here we're gonna play some pros. Uh, Eric EX is a Nova pro. Second best is a really good player. I don't know if he's contractor or not. Uh, Jen, he was number one or number two, I believe, last season in in the world leaderboard. So yeah, really good players here, and they are also running the Poco Mortis comp here so they know the deal for sure they don't have a thrower so we can capitalize on just waiting for them to make a mistake because we do have the first star which means they have to make a move and we don't we can just play very laid back and just wait for them to mess up and capitalize on that or at least try to so uh i'm in the grass you don't want to reveal where you are eric's gonna super it's no one and we are all full health still Matthias is trying to get his ball. I'm just trying to get my bats without going in and dying. I know Poco's in there, so I'm just waiting for him to maybe peek out alone. If I go in, Eric's just going to triple tap me, and that's not going to be good. And they also have a Poco heal. Well, we don't, so we just wait for them to make a move. Because we were up 1-0. There's no point in them. There's no point in us risking to make a play, because we don't need to right now. Matthias is going to go in. He's going to knock back two. He has his ball. I... Thought I was going to die, but I got healed. Same with them. Mateus knocks them back again. And I'm going to try to go around, maybe. Mateus is getting really low. Mateus might go down here. Gets the wall. Poco is going to heal. I think I'm going to go in, in here. Try to get a kill. I kill Eric. I just fall back because there's no point. Because we're up three stars. And if I die, it's going to be tied. So I can't die here. We have a Poco heal. They have a Poco heal as well. Uh... Mateus is trying to get a super, same with Eric. Let's see, I'm just waiting for them to come up because they don't know where I'm in the grass. I haven't been hit yet. So, 9 seconds left on the clock. I just go in because I know I was close to my bats. I get my bats the second time, and we're up 3, and that's a win. Real easy game there, 5-2. And this shows how strong this comp is and how easy it is to push Mortis on this map. And then this comp, we have a Gene. Dynamite and Immortus. They're gonna be able to break walls. They get the first star, unfortunately. And Mateus is angry that I didn't. I got in a bit too late of the game, so we're gonna see how we fare and how you should go about it if you don't get the first star. For this matchup, they do have a Dynamite, so as Immortus, you could capitalize on that. And as you are a natural counter through, or not natural counter to throwers. So I'll just try to flank and go around and maybe get it, the mic secluded and try to get a kill there. Gene misses the pull and we're basically pinching them right now. I'm just focusing on, on the mic. He's going to sweep her, but he's not going to be able to kill me. Mateus just cleans him up and we're up four stars. The ball just allows us to fall back and go back. They do have a dynamite, so we cannot hide. We have to move around be cautious. Dynamics alone, so I go in for the kill. I should be able to get it here. I'm at bats. I missed the bats on the dynamite, but I think I killed like, yeah, Gene here, and we're up 10 stars. Mortis can't do anything when Poco's right there trying to heal me with the st uh, st uh, star power. My taste was in the grass, too. I'm just waiting for the Mortis to come up, but he didn't. They're down 10 stars right now. He gets to pull on Poco, but Poco just heals, and, like, that basically they did nothing to him. I just go in, I get pulled, I think I'm gonna die here, Poco has heal, heals me, I kill the enemy mortis, and I go in for the dynamite, Poco's gonna almost kill the dynamite, oh, does not, but we are up 8 stars. I have 4 Mateus, 3, so we can both die, but of course you don't want to do that, exactly, so if you come in too close, all you have to do is just peek out and double team the brawler out of that box and I missed the bats but no big deal we're just gonna win easy game there so if you see a mic it's basically GG we're gonna be playing and say kind of a standard comp with the long range Piper and Brock pick and Immortus they're also trying to counter uh, throwers obviously I get the first star so they don't have a thrower so we can just capitalize on the left side, just waiting for them to come close. Mateus is going to try to get a super, just peeks out a bit. Of course, not trying to feed any of, of the Brock supers or the Pipers, because they can break the walls with the Piper jump or the Brock super. Once again, super easy. 
so once you are in the box, you don't really reveal where you are or on what side of the uh, I would just call it box or on what side of the box you are. So you just want to hide in the middle, and that prevents being seen from any of the edges. Mortis is going to go in for the Poco. Mateus kills the Piper there. I kill the Mortis and Brock Super. Basically misses. He hits Corey once, but no problem there. We're off five stars. I have three. Mateus has three. Knocks back the Piper. He's not in range. I go in for the Piper. He's going to jump towards me away from Mateus, and I should be able to clean him up pretty easily. So we are up five stars right now. I have four. I can't die here. I just run back. The Mortis misses three dashes on me. I was able to dash straight, and I dodged all three of them, so... Yeah, we're up five. Poco just trying to... <laughs> oh, really good back push, a really good pushback by Mateus there. Just trying to make a move. I basically just bat. Oh, Mateus is going to clean up the rest. Good ball. The Brock just kind of gave up there, and we were up 12 stars. Mateus might die here, but I go in and save and try to tank for the Piper. Or try to tank the Piper for the Mateus. And yeah, we're at 14. I die. We're gonna win even if Mateus dies. He gets another kill with the ball. And Corey's about to finish the Piper. Yeah. <laughs> Easy game. And Mateus is up at 7 stars, I think. So, well played to him. And yeah. That's how you push your mortis to 600, guys. Pretty easy. Uh, just grind that bounty map. I think I played it for like 30 minutes today and I got him up from 500 to 600. Super easy. Just play the Poco and Mortis strat and you should be getting your Mortis to 600 or even at 500 it should be even easier. You won't be playing any top players. Matchmaking is going to be quicker too. And yeah guys, thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed it, tomorrow I should be having another analysis video coming out. So stay tuned for that. Peace.